Hello, 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 everyone. GP at homeschool.ca. And I'm laughing just because I flubbed the beginning to this video so many times that I just gave up and said, screw it, leave it running. Um, anyway, allowing. This is what we're here to do today. And today I want to, to invite you to allow more money, wealth, abundance into your life. So as I'm talking, please tap my tapping videos, it's tapping. So we just tap. No matter what's going on, we just tap. We just... Tapping is, an, is, an, is such a beautiful expression of self-love. Why am I doing this? Because I love myself. I may not know that I love myself yet. I may actually feel exactly the opposite. But why else would I do this? But because I loved myself. Because I want to be better. I want to be improved. I want all of the good things. What if all you had to do was allow them? Stop tapping and just ponder that for a second. What if it didn't have to earn it? That it wasn't the reward for good behavior. That it wasn't some kind of carrot at the end of the stick. That there was no test you had to pass. That it was just, here, we love you. Take it. Start tapping with me. Even though I've had this feeling like somehow I had to earn money and abundance and, and good things to come in my life, I'm open to the possibility that that belief simply restricted me from exactly what I wanted. Even though I haven't been allowing it into my life, I always thought there was good reason for that. Maybe that's not actually true. <laughs> so even though I haven't been allowing money and wealth and abundance and good stuff, I'm open to the possibility that there are no prerequisites on allowing and that Good things are a free gift from the universe with no strings attached. Tap with me through the points. Any order, and if you do different points, some of you may notice that I do this point sometimes when I remember. Some people do this. Some people love the wrists, which is really good. I'll sometimes do the fingers. Anywhere you want to tap, just keep tapping around so you're tapping on various parts of your body. So, what if I didn't have to earn anything. What if I didn't have to prove myself worthy of, of abundance, of wealth, of whole, cold, hard cash, of good things, even of love? What if this wasn't a test? What if my life wasn't a big test? What if it isn't, wasn't even about soul learning? <laughs> that it was just, the only thing I had to learn was to just accept the beauty and bounty that is freely given to every being. I was taught that everything had a string attached. Nothing was free especially money. You had to work hard, you had to keep your nose clean, or put it to the grindstone, shoulder to the wheel. What if none of that was true? What if this was, is all actually a free gift? Of course, if I believe something's true, it will shape my perceptions, which shape my attention, which shape my entire experience. So it'll look like it's true, it'll feel like it's true, even though it isn't true. That's the power of my mind. It makes things appear to be true when they're not. 
I was taught from a very young age, everything is contingent. There's no such thing as a free lunch, kid. What if there is? <laughs> what if they just didn't know any better? And they lived a life like that. Taught me that this is simply the way it was. Even with the best of intentions. What if that's not true? Right this moment, I am deciding to allow more abundance into my life. To simply allow it. I am choosing to let go of this belief that abundance and money and wealth and opportunity all had prerequisites attached to it. Seemingly infinite prerequisites. That to-do list you never get to the bottom of because it keeps on growing. Like shark's teeth, just one after another. I'm letting all of that go. Yeah, there's some resistance to that. My nervous system has been in the habit of acting out that belief for a long time. So, yeah. It's going to feel uncomfortable. It's, are you sure? It can't be that easy. You can't just sit back and do nothing. You'll end up homeless. Well, I'm, I'm not going to do nothing. I like doing things. And I like getting rewarded for the things that I do. I like giving. And I like receiving when I don't actually give. I love getting things that are just a gift that I didn't earn. I like both. So maybe it's okay. I'm just going to allow good stuff to come from unexpected sources. I'm going to allow money to come. It's just a gift from the universe. What if the universe is actually benevolent and loving and I always thought it was mean and withholding because that's the way I was treated. What if that's not true? I'm really open to allowing more good into my life. More money. More abundance. Of all kinds. Abundance of friends. Abundance of opportunities. Abundance of the richness of life. Being able to really enjoy the moment without any worries or anxiety. So if there's anything in me that's still holding on to some position that's limited, I'm just choosing to very gently let it go. I'm letting go of fighting with my nervous system, trying to make it be better, make it be more open and allowing. I'm just going to sink into the love. My whole energy system, which has been limiting me, has just been trying to protect me. It's not my enemy. So now I completely embrace everything exactly the way it is and just say, it's okay. It's safe to let in more money. It's safe to let in more happiness. It's safe to let in more abundance and wealth of all kinds. I'm choosing now to open myself up to more abundance. Even though I don't know how, even though I haven't changed anything, I haven't gotten more deserving of it in the last 10 minutes, I'm letting it in anyway. Maybe I don't have to prove myself anymore. And just like a little kid, I can just open up and receive it. Mm. Maybe that's really possible. If it is, I totally accept it. I am going to let things come to me. Maybe even get so audacious that I expect good things to come from me. 
Oh, thank you to my whole life. Thank you for all this freedom that I'm beginning to learn. Thank you for opening my heart. Thank you. I love you. Deep breath. Let that sink into the body. Don't think about it too much. <laughs> it's easy for my... It's, the mind gets very wrapped up in trying to figure things out. What if this is just true? And that this is what your heart and the divine beings and everybody else has been trying to communicate to you from the inside, like being kissed from the inside, hugged, saying, you know what? You've done a great job. You're done. You pass. Till next time, folks. GP Welsh. Namaste. Hey, everybody. This is GP, and thank you. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you really like this work and you like uh, the meaning of it, it's been beneficial and helping, please give me money. No, really, <laughs> seriously. Please like, share, tell your friends, advertise, buy stock, and send me money. It obviously takes a lot to keep this going. It, I, I, I do it all myself, all the, um, all the technical work and the like. I try to keep expenses as low as possible and every little penny helps. So if you just go over to my site, um, well not my site, it's patreon.com slash gpwalsh and, um, and give me as much as you possibly can. And of course, remember, if you do, good things are going to come to you. You'll be, have, be bestowed with blessings and wonder and life and weight loss and everything you could possibly ever, ever, ever want. But remember, if you don't, bad things are going to happen. All right, well, bad things aren't ever going to happen, but that has nothing to do with it. But if you really like this, please help me out and let me keep doing this for, for little and new cost and giving courses and meditations, all sorts of stuff to people who otherwise couldn't afford it. So help me out, friends, and I'll help you out. Let's wash each other's back. Love you. Namaste.